Okay, so over the past couple weeks, um, I actually haven't done much, except for I filled this up and I checked the temperature non-stop to see if it was proper to house an X level up here in my room, like this is between my bed and my desk, and I couldn't get the temperature below 70 degrees for like a long time. It was always like 74, sometimes it was at 80, even with a fan pointed directly on top of it, which was one of the biggest recommendations. So I'm now draining the tank into this bucket and I've redecided I'm not getting X lava anymore. Instead I'm gonna house two crested geckos in here and someday I'll get an X lotto just right now in this room. It's not the right spot. Um but yeah, hopefully someday. So let's get this ready for a crested gecko instead of an axolotl. Okay guys, so the first package from Amazon with all the stuff I ordered came in, so I'm going to do a little unboxing for you. This isn't everything, um, but after I unbox it, I'm going to set up what I have. So yeah, let's start. I know it's kind of weird how I went from like animal to animal without really knowing what I was getting, um, but that's because I always wanted an axolotl, but my room just wasn't the right temperature to take care of one. So then I wanted to get... A different pet. My sister didn't want me to get a snake and my mom wouldn't let me get any type of rodent because of my cat and based on the aquarium size I had my only option was pretty much like leopard geckos, fat tail geckos and then I stumbled across the pictus gecko or the African ground dwelling gecko and I was like this is it or the Madagascar ground dwelling, ground dwelling gecko and I was like this is it because I'm obsessed with Madagascar. I want to visit there so bad. I love it so much. So, when I saw that one, I was like, yeah, that's the one for me. So, now let's take out what I ordered. Bubble wrap. Okay, a lot of bubble wrap is pretty good. Okay, so the first thing I ordered was sphagnum moss, I think it is. And this is for like inside, they're supposed to have a moist hide. So I'll have like three hides. Um, although the third one's not coming for a while but i'll have three hides eventually and i put this inside one of the hides and like moist moisten it up with like a water bottle and i don't know exactly why they need a moist hide but like obviously because they need like to retain water i guess probably so i got it because it is something they need the next thing a thermometer okay i looked so many thermometers and i'm paying for all this myself so I need just to look for like kind of cheaper stuff, like not the most expensive stuff possible. Um, and so many thermometers were expensive if they, like I wanted to get a digital one so that I could read it easier. easier. And this one's a ZoomEd one, so I trust it. And it was like $13, which is much better than any of the other thermometers. This thing's not really a necessity, but I got it because I thought it'd be fun. Um, they do like to, go under leaves and stuff like they really like hiding under leaves so I got these vines and I was maybe gonna like hang them from the top or something so that they could hide under it and maybe climb on it if they want they're not really big on climbing but they are geckos so they can um so yeah I'm just gonna put those up that's kind of more decoration and this is the reason why I can't get him until I get like an actual lid um because she's tried to go in the aquarium multiple times already <laughs> And yeah, she's probably gonna hate him, um, but it's okay. Okay, we only have two more things. And this one, it's actually two. So it's two coconut shell like hides and they're pretty small, but that's all right because he's gonna be small when I get him or her. They're not really gendered until a little later, but they're gonna be small when I get them. So I'm hoping for Christmas I can ask for bigger hides because again, I had to pay for them myself and hides are expensive, so Christmas time when that comes around I'll get better hides but these should be good for now they're just simple little hides just kidding I have three more things um so this is the second to last it's just a little tiny little bowl 
and again they're not that big they get to like five to six inches i think so this will just be um for their food and their his their water bowl doesn't come for like a while in the future like it said like october but i can always use something different until i get that it's not one of the biggest necessities um but yeah this was pretty cheap and it does look really small but i don't need a big one so unless i get a second one and i'm planning on getting a second one just not yet i have to figure out the gender first and then the final thing is this like terrarium carpet kind of thing you know and i was just gonna put that at the bottom of the tank um because i thought it would be better than getting like loose um substrate and then like i hate the idea of having like paper towels or newspapers like that's gross so this is perfect because like simple like easy put it down um and i guess for like poop or something i can just like clean it up with a paper towel like that's not the biggest thing so yeah and then i'll get a new one of these every couple months but that's all for now and go to me setting up the tank Okay, so this is what we got, so that's pretty good. Okay, so I'm literally just gonna fill it up with hot water so I can clean the vines, um, the hive, and the bowl. Okay, I finished cleaning all of these, and then I'm just gonna have the vine hang here to dry. Okay, so I've gotten more stuff for the aquarium so far. I've gotten this lid from Amazon, which is just like a little two open thing. I don't know if I showed the Zoomed thermometer that I got, but yeah, that's in there. I still have the vines, and then I also got stuff from the dollar store, and they said you could get fake leaves as long as you wash them off, so I made sure to wash these off really good in hot water. So we just got a bunch of leaves, and then I got rocks, and then a bowl, so I'm just going to show you that real quick. Here's the bowl I got. It's just a little glass bowl. I was thinking to put calcium in there, like the calcium supplement, and then the leaves are just all there for them to hide in. It's by... One of their hides i'm hoping this will be the warm side and then i just put some rocks in there for like just the core reasons um and i think they'll be fine because the rocks are big enough that like they can't eat them and i also wash those off okay and then the last thing i've gotten is this vine from joann's and it was like eight dollars with the discount i got which is great and i just wanted another thing to like put in the corner like i know it might be a little crowded but they love to hide in leaves so i was like this really is the move, so I got it. We'll see if it looks too cluttered, but like I'll figure out a way to make it all work. And I washed that off really good too in really hot water, and it burnt my hand. Okay, so this is the current setup, and as you can see, I added more vines. Um, those are the ones from Joann's, and at first, like, it was too much. Like, there was too many vines, and it just didn't look good. So then I cut them up. So it's only like one strand over here, and then I put a small strand over there. So it's a lot less. And then I had the clear bowl for the calcium that just came in today. And oh, then I added this air plant in the corner, and it's a real air plant. Um, but I thought they'd want some like real plants. I thought that'd be kind of cool. So here's the current situation. Yeah, and then the heat mat came in. We're gonna put that on after we can elevate this, and then calcium came in. We got two things of flunkers. They're both two ounce, and they're both like a dollar fifty or something like that. So pretty good. I got it from Amazon. So it's a little bit later, and my dad just got home from our cabin, and he brought me home these pieces of driftwood that I'm gonna clean and try putting in the enclosure. And right now I have a ton of stuff for the enclosure, which is good, but then also I'm running out of room. So I think what I'm gonna do is re like set it up, like set it up a new way, and then I'll switch it out every now and then for like enrichment. But yeah, I just have to clean these off. All right, so I just took them out of the oven after putting them on 250 degrees for like 20 minutes. So that's what I'm going to do. And they're looking good. <laughs> so i had to put some tinfoil on the top of the tank because humidity wasn't staying in and it was like i always no matter what i'm always having struggles with this but finally i've gotten it to a point where the humidity stays between 60 and 80 for like all night or all the day 
which is so exciting. And yeah, I'm really happy with where the tank is at and I bought the mealworms um, on Tuesday. So that means I'm ordering, I'm ordering the gecko tonight. I'm so excited. But I think I'm gonna make a second video unboxing the actual gecko itself and then talking about any issues I had setting this up because there was a lot and like probably offer tips of what I would recommend even though I'm like literally new, just setting it up was so difficult. So I think this is the end. Um, tune in next week to see me unboxing my